Hi guys, today we're back for another video. Um, we're going to play. Um, uh, we're going to play two table of fifteen L, and I will not do any cuts, no editing. Um, just me playing. Um, as you might see right now in the channel, I try to do one video per day, uh, which is challenging. I'm gonna lie, but there are a lot in uh, a lot of videos that are coming. Um, so. Uh, yeah, I think we are doing great. Um, Pocket Taste is here on the turn. Oh, uh, but I will check. The ends I value bet when I bet big, bet big, or are betting the turn all the time. So I can let him bluff. And if I don't think people bluff that much, this spot. Uh, now uh, I think I need to bet, like, no, I think I need to check, let him bluff. I want to target Pocket Pair, but like most Pocket Pair will bet on the flop when I check. So I think right now I need to let him bet like Jack Ten, Queen Jack, and on some on, on some spots I can just bet small here um, to, to value bet this pocket pair. But as I said, I think the uh, they're not weighted that much in his range uh, because of what we say. And, and now I think I will just uh, just raise not not really big here. Uh, I want to let him call like any A six that actually uh, check the turn. So I think I need this sizing. And apparently he was not bluffing, so yeah. I, but I, I'm I'm fine with my sizing. I think if I jump, the K just always fall, and I need the sizing to call his queen here of five juice shooted, for, <laughs> for example. Uh, yeah, that, that was sick, but you, you shouldn't call five juice shooted. Uh, so yeah, uh, doing a quick video, or no editing. Uh, like this, I can uh, talk more about uh, things. Um, I like to talk on uh, when I am twitching. Um, I will do a schedule also uh, for Twitch uh, because it's better for you and for me. Uh, for me, because sometimes I know I have to stream, but I don't really like, I'm a bit lazy and I don't. But if I have a schedule, I know I will stream way more and it's going to be easier for you to know where's when I'm streaming because I, I don't let the replay for the moment. Uh, so, yeah, of course, we're going to play today. We're going to see um, what... Um, what explore we can do in this pool? Um, how you can, uh, yeah, just how, how can you, um, be way uh, better than your opponent? I think it's a limit that is not the hardest, but um, it's clearly the limits between um, semi-pro and pro, um, because two hundred NL players, most of them are pro, I guess, um, and fifteen NL players, not that many are pro, so it's uh, twenty-five NL nobody is pro. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not, um, it's not the easiest limit, but, um, it is doable. Um, because as I said, it's between 25 and 100. So we are 100 and not, uh, I had to say that, not 200 and not. Um, also don't tell me to hesitate. Don't, don't hesitate to tell me, um, What's the best format for you? Like, do you prefer like this no editing or like uh, the best the best end I select in, in the Twitch? Just tell me and uh, I will uh, I will be open. I will try also to diversify those other contents. Um, that's why like video like more face cam are coming also. Uh, where like I talk about things important concept things I learned in poker. Uh, this this type of video. Yeah, uh, videos. So, yep. Uh, Ten minutes of human fold. Um, when my father just came back home. Uh, where ouais, je fais une vidéo? Uh, he's king here. Oh, uh, free bets, and he's ten of free bet also. Uh, I don't think in fifty NL is a free bet enough. Probably in any position, the pool is under for betting for sure. UTG against Button, for example, so you can free bet a bit more and overfold against four bet. Um, the kings here. I will open small. Um, in terms of the opening open sizing, I like to do two x because people not have any flats um in any position, and big blinds defend lose. People don't do that, so I think you win slightly more by opening two x. Um. Ace king here. I will. Bet small here. King Jack. Oh, free bet. 
And facing free bet here, UTG, when you play as deep, I really like to fall bet more because I just don't be scared to fall bet when you play deeper. I like to fall bet because um, I should have some five bet with a skin. You're like, nobody, nobody does that. So you realize you're pretty well because you'll never, you never get five bets. And actually, after that, you, you can barrel. Um, Can barrel pretty easily in position. Then seven here or false. Ace eight here. Um, you can play multiple strategy, but I will show you the one for range. Because in 50, that was probably like the easiest strategy to do on the flop, and that's actually working well. Uh, especially against a pull at I will not say other check raise, but don't don't check raise. Uh the bull the, the bull is not check raising the um no, excuse me. The, the pool doesn't check raise uh, the ends that he has to. Um, general, this would be a lot of draws, um, but not really like, for example, the H jack with the S of, of clubs. It's not, and people take that much. And on the four here, all over bets. Um, so you shouldn't use over bet that much on this turn because the four is actually really great for him um, compared to me. Um, but I don't think it's going to change here because. Now he needs to find some blur phrase that nobody will find, and they will just play as a call because I think my range is super strong. So um, he will not check raise enough the turn, so you will realize we could be better. So uh, better equity realization means always a better EV, uh, and that's why I think the sizing is okay. What is okay? I'll see if we is okay. I think all, all, all sizing are all, all fine, honestly. honestly. Um, free this up here or fold, by far or fold also. And ten seven, I'm going to call. Um, I don't mind free betting a lot. Big money is cut off, big money is good, because also people don't, um, don't, don't forbet enough. Um, and with ten seven, I'm gonna squeeze. So be careful of not showing this type of quiz to anybody because I mean, it's super exploitable. But uh, when you squeeze really big, uh, cut off should have some uh, re raise size with bluffs and. It's a situation where they might have bluff, but really not as much as theory. And if you go in, if you simulate this spot in a preflop solver like Monker, it will say that if he doesn't uh, forbid you in bluff, you will over utilize your equity and you can just squeeze a lot. And this even doesn't take into consideration that when you free bet, when you squeeze and they get call, it will play extremely passively post flop also. Like they are not cooling enough the spots, they are not raising enough on the flop, etc. So clear your spot where you can just uh, win money here. Ten for faults. I'll open this ten. When you're in the button, you can open a bit bigger than, than two x here. Uh, seven five three. Um. Uh, a little bit small here. So this is not a really a super good board, but I don't expect enough uh, check call after the check, they are check calling. So um, they fall so much that I prefer to use the ace 10 uh, as a bluff here on Fifth Street. The seven is really bad, to be honest. Um, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to check here. And I expect too much bluff from a guy that repeat too much preflop. And uh, now the four, mm, it's going to be difficult. Now he needs to find the... Um, King Queen Queen Jack region, and the problem is even if he has them, you can just put this bluff in the one third or alpha line. I think two thirds is a bit too strong here on this board. I would just for this then. I can bluff so many right now, like so many right now will be over full, like any any nine, any ten, any, any ten, after per Jack Queen, etc. Look at sixes when this guy half puts. Um, don't really like it, but he doesn't have that many kings, so I think we can still call ones here. I don't mind folding without diamond, honestly. I think it's really close. Oh, I'm not going to play here. Look at five open here. I will range check. You can play bet also. Yeah, both options are fine, honestly. Especially in 15 hours, I will not raise enough in this spot. So bet range is really fine. And check range is really fine if you know the strategy also. Uh, now I can solve whatever fold. Yeah, I can only call with a diamond. So it's a bit loose here. Especially if you're white. It's okay. 
And on the A on the A's, um, I'm gonna use the check here against the wreck. I don't think you need to bluff free streets here. Um, I think he has a lot of A6, and now when he do this size, I think he has too much random queen X or random A6, and, and I think here most fishes will just fall on close to all or not so when they have an ace here. So I would just race here. And um, I also expect his better earns to re-raise when I raise on the turns. The river will be pretty clean. Most Ronald can be bluffed here. So um, I, I like raising the turn. I, I don't mind calling. I mean, I, I don't think you can fold this hand. But um, yeah, when, when the sizing is not strong, uh, you really need to uh, know that you can play in a spot where the guy just fall 100%. And your EV is like really, really massive on to check race. So you can attack more like weaker sizing because even if the guy has some trap, like most of people will have uh, traps and, and just weekends. You can you can put pressure on, on the syringe. Um, on this range. Um, I'm gonna call here pocket nines. And on this flop, we have a good end, but should still be careful. And when he do alpha pots, you don't want to race to value ace is ace king. Uh, I don't know if they can fall ace king against a race, even if they shoot. Um, yeah, I'm gonna race, but not that big here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna race, but not big. I don't want to make for this king here. I think when he is sizing, he always have his king. He will have some like Eastern H die, but it will be rare. I think it's mainly uh, the ends that wants to put one in the pot here. And I think if I race too big, he will fall his king. And now he can just think I have his king myself. And I, I don't think they find the, the fall of his king here. Uh, this will be our sum, but. I don't think they are. I don't think they have ace queen that much with this size. So. Um, the reason why I raise here is the, the board is going to be um, bad too much here. Uh, for example, if the guy is ace king, how many renowns are bad for me on the turn? Actually, close to almost all of them, uh, expect, except blanks. An ace is not that good. Uh, you might think the opposite, but um let me say that yeah actually we'll jump the turn but it's okay but in ace like he will have queens kings aces jack 10 so it's okay for you but not that much especially when he use the alpha pot you will not have the screen on the turn okay any space is bad um queen is bad because now he's king decrease in value in his range uh and he's in his um uh shoes uh any space is, is bad so you have um you have a spade, 10, jack, queen. Uh, ace is okay. Um, so you, you want to build them the, the, the bot like this. If the board doesn't have a flush, I think I will call to let him bluff. And like, often there will be the first on the turn, and you can jam and they will call the ace king. Um, and also, the first reason actually why we want to do that is because I don't expect people to free barrel enough in 15 of this type of bot. I don't expect them to take enough pocket eights. I don't think think they will have tens with this sizing on the flop. I don't think they will barrel ace jack ace ten, um, because I don't think they have bluff in their free barrel in nine. Um, then like calling pocket nines decreasing EV. Um, uh, so you need to take that in, in consideration when you do moves like this. Five three off here will fold. Eight will fall, ten six of our fall also. A jack here will open. This type of video with like no editing, uh, I did it for like more than one hundred times on my French channel. Because before this one, I had a French channel for like now more than one year. And H jack here, uh, I think I will check. Probably to bet left on the turn here.
still have the French channel, by the way, but compared to the video in English for the top reason. Queen's here will open. Um, I think this sizing is weak, but not that weak. Um, I don't think we should fall. Here is Jack with the Jack of Diamond. Uh, Jack of Clubs. Because I don't think that that many flushes with this size. So, um, if he has, like... I mean, he can only have... He can have, like, the Ace of Clubs. Um, and I beat a lot of combo with that. If he defends loose, preflop. And, uh, yeah, I don't think he's that strong with this size. So I'm fine with the call. Uh, but now, for line, I don't think uh, people bluff enough this line. Uh, Queen's here... Uh, for is not that attractive this tree against such a big size. I, I would just call here. They can fall bet, of course, but there is a concept called like the nitty pool paradox. Uh is like when the pool plays neat, you 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 also play neat also. Um preflop. Because if everyone is only broken Kings Plus, then you have to broke uh close to only ACs. That's why preflop, uh, when the pool is neat here, I don't like to broke this type of hand. I'll call queens here, even if that's not that good, because I think kings and aces might use this sizing a lot. And uh, then if it is the case, um, queen is starts to be really close. But I, I think we always have a call with the uh, hurt here. Um, and that's a profitable call. And on the turn, I think we should check. I, I don't see any... I think checking is way better. Mm. <sighs> I don't have that much, much time to think. Oh, I will sit out the next. Oh. I, I will call it. Explain why. I don't think this call is that great. I think we should call all the time here. And he had the flush, yeah. But the reason why I call is because um, his value region is flush, is only... I think once he has aces, kings, he will at least think about betting on the turn. So uh, I feel it's really like flush or air region. I agree that like air is not betting this sizing on the flop super often. But now if his value region is only ace, king, ace, queen, he will not have that... I mean, if he's bluffing one combo, he's still over bluffing. So um, I think the call is fine, but as you see that that's really 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 not easy like he will never never have jacks i think with this line um yeah, we, we cannot have one of the best and we are but again you, you shouldn't think this way you should always think uh, is my is my hand good against villain's range just the only question that matter all the time and here i see a lot of players calling because i it's the top of my imagine to call this is a big mistake you should always think about what's the best uh what's the best move uh, I, I can do in, in ED. And this is the same question we ask ourselves in, in Ice Sticks. Uh, and personally, uh, the reason why I try to play really balanced at 5k and is because for me, this is the highest EV uh, decision I can take. Because if I start to play too exploitative, uh, people will counter me way better than in low stakes. But in low stakes, pe people don't really exploit you that much when you do mistakes. Uh, because a lot of players, because they exploit less well, etc. etc. So um, you shouldn't think that much in terms of balance, especially especially when you need to call the river. Um, and also, and that's probably the biggest thing here, nobody see you falls. Nobody see you fall. And seeing that the guy is over falling takes way, 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 way more time, uh, much time uh, than um, someone that is... Um, over calling because if someone's over call like you see a combo that the guy call it shouldn't he's over calling but you know if he's over folding it, 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 it takes time actually so um yeah i still think the call is profitable but that should be super close i think i also call because um i wanted to <laughs> i wanted to see his ends to be honest but that, that shouldn't be an element of, for, for you of course never uh five four here um it's a low frequency free, but I don't expect enough four bets, so um, I'm fine here. I expect people to four bet a bit more against me. Um, five four is actually playing well against the four bet range that is balanced, so I'm, I'm fine with that. On the flop, we, we can't do anything with five four, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, you can call if there if you know the guy is range betting and the ball is like ace, ace nine juice, but on this flop, uh, it's you just can call. 
because you think he, if he's if you think that he's check falling too much, the kings, queens, jacks region, that's okay, but otherwise no. I say just don't don't think um about river balance in 15. Oh, that's just really, really big mistakes. Um so what I said about ice takes is uh, actually we I asked myself the same question, what's the best team move move? But for me, it's playing balance because if I don't play balance, I will get exploited really hard and I will lose EV. But you, if you don't play balance in 15 L, close to nobody cares. So um, you will not um, you will not uh, lose that much EV. And even if you lose EV against some guys, you will win money against others. That's why I advise uh, players to free bet close to 30% big blind against four lines. Because even if you, you see some players that for bet more, you will not lose that much compared to the money you are winning. Um, to the overall money you make um, uh, with people that just um, not for betting off, um, not calling off pre-flop, big money small and free bet, not checking enough flop, etc. Et uh, Queen Jack here, you can play uh, bet small range, you can play mixed strategy. I advise to play one through range, but I also advise you to um, know what you are doing. So what sizing you should use, etc. And uh, every time you see a flop, ask yourself, okay, what's the si theoretical sizing uh, I should use, even if you simplify your strategy? Because the difference in um, in uh, level that... Uh, oh, fall here. The difference in level that you will have between always think about the strategy on the flop and just range betting without even thinking about it uh, after months is, would be massive. Um, so uh, I really advise you to think uh, all the time about the flop strategy, even if um, uh, you, you use one for range. H9 up here will call. I'll talk in another video of the, the biggest mistakes I think people make. Um, I, I will talk about it in another video. It's also something uh, really massive that I think people need to fix a lot. H9 off here. You can range betting. That's a clear call. We can even raise close to range here, uh, especially if he's range betting, because there is no way he finds enough uh, free bets here and no way he finds enough calls. So you just have a bigger fold equity and you realize you could be better. Um, so I advise you to fall 6 5. Uh, Jokely, it's a call. I will call only because I expect more for bets when it's me. Um, also, because I'm in video, but just to see forward spots. Otherwise, I, I don't advise you to call this type of fence, especially uh, in less than 50 NL. Uh, H9 here. I'll just bet one third here. Uh, typically, you should use uh, all bet size here, mostly. But as I said, I'll just take the move that I think is the most plus EV here. And it's going to be super tough for people to find my strategy. Uh, for me, it's easy. You just have to see all, all my video, YouTube, all, uh, all my YouTube videos. But for you, if you don't do video, video on YouTube, people will not uh, will not find. Um, I really don't like the check on, on the H6 board. Uh, I think it represents too strong. Uh, and the the end I can make fall on turn plus river uh, or ends that will fall. We check the turn like Queen's Kings and might fall the river. Um, the Kings is one of the worst um, because you will have Kings more than, than Queens. Queens can call preflop. Um, and I think now um, I, I will just not bluff. I will just check. And if you jam, that says is 100%. And he had King 7. So as I said, more for bets against me, I guess. And um, um, what I said is also true. I mean, King Seven may fall on the turn. Okay, okay, that's that's true. If I bet, but if it's a blank and I bet and I jams and he falls, um, so um, I'm fine with that. Even if we will mainly be against the range, it's rare that people that double check uh, King Seven here. Usually, it's a bet on the flop on the turn. You see, all fault and eight all fault. I'll rebuy here. I don't know uh, when you will see this video, but I hope uh, friends won at the semi final of the World Cup because the match is tonight. French will, France will play against Morocco, but I don't think we'll have too much problem. 
Oh, it's football. Everything's gonna happen. It's like poker. Jack seven. Um, uh, I think I will call because people play pool. You spot free way. Like I can have so many renowns that even if my end is trash, like when it goes check check, I can just bet here, and I will go for all three quarter here, and it's gonna be fall fall a lot. I can bluff this card. This is probably the worst card of the deck to bluff. So I'm just going to check. Uh, Ace nine here on the turn. Um, I will all bet off the pot. And Jack seven, I will check. And he snap check with an eight, I guess. No! Oh, if he has six, seven, I can win. Yeah, that, that's, that's okay. Um, Ace nine. Uh, I will check now. And reverse would call all the time. I really advise you to um, play with your timing against fishes. Like in general, the more you tank, the more uh, they will be scared. So um, it's really one of the biggest tricks I can give you against fishes. Just you have ends that don't want. You don't want your opponent to bet on the river, for example. You call a turn. You're out of position, and like you check after thirty seconds, and like sometimes they will be scared, like. They value way less, um, and sometimes you just uh, don't bluff. Uh, and in the situation that they could bluff, uh, if they had, uh, if they didn't see your timing. So, uh, yeah. And he had Jacks um, playing okay. Uh, I like the one for uh, Alpha because now he has too much Queen Ten Jack Ten extra. So I think in this line he will have too much bluff. If he is always betting Queen Ten Jack Ten now, I mean it's what's fever, but he can value Queen Nine Jack Nine so. Will always always call h9. I'm gonna fold. But again, don't uh, forget to subscribe, it, it helps the channel a lot. Uh, also, don't hesitate to comment, uh, like what's what's the best um format uh, I should do, etc. Um, because I, I will adapt also to what, what you say if, if I want, of course. But uh, yeah, but I will do survey on my YouTube channel also. Uh, King Jack, I'll see what he does. Expect less four bets actually when uh, uh, this guy um, showed uh, four bet with King Seven. On this flop, uh, actually Jack Ten Seven has a different strategy than Jack Ten Six here. We should play a bit more passive. Uh, I think King Jack is is uh, and against the pool is fine in checking lane. I don't expect enough call on two streets here, so we don't have when you don't have free street, I mean you can just check here and wait. Uh, I'll check call here. Um down six, I think I will call again. Nah, it's gonna be tough. Uh Uh, King seven here. I don't think we can fold. Uh, can raise, but I, I like raising when this guy can play again. And on the deuce, um, it's really tough because if you do not know the guy, I mean, it's gonna be really difficult for him to find enough. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'll try, but it really depends on the guy. To be honest, uh, I'll put. It's gonna be good against some. Not good against others, but the fact that he didn't bluff Jack 10 uh, the end before make me think he's kind of weak opponents and he's going to fall more. And the fact that he tank with ace 4 make this good, I think. Uh, because if he tanks with ace 4, this really means he's going to fall the pair uh, a lot, I think. And now on the river, um, I actually call the term, I'll call the river, but it's that's not that easy to be honest. Because um, oh. I think when he does sizing on the turn, if he does a sizing, he will always charm Weaver. Um, but I wanted to call the turn to call Weaver, so I'll go with my plan. The king is not that great because you're blocking Queen Shooted. Uh, but that, that's the detail. I mean, even if you have an 8, like, you can block some ace queen, etc. I think he will have enough, like, his 9, his 8 uh, that can play this way, but really be careful on this type of spots in, in 15 now. And he had. No, he should always fall at this. Um, yeah, this is this is never cool. Uh, but GG got me, and um, I think uh, if I know the guy is tight, I am not calling. I'm a bit too curious. Like I think this type of what may be folding on the turn, as I said. 
Uh, I was focused on the other table. Well, that's, that's a mistake. That's, that's okay to do mistakes. Um, actually, I think on the against the pool here, you can just you can just fall on the turn. Um, and again, don't don't think in terms of I need to protect my range, blah blah blah. Like you don't you don't you don't need that. So King Six here, yeah, I'll play this last hand. I'll call. And the reason why I will call is because even if when people check on the flops, they will have a six slots. The reason why I check calls is because when you start with catching on the turn, you need to think about the bluffing property of your hand. And now, Loki has a lot of face six, but what do he do when I raise 19, for example? So then when he had this, his jack, his 10, his queen, his, he has, he's in a tough spot. So when you call in, it's close on the turn, but might have a good bluff on the river, then you can call a bit more on the turn. And it's going to be super tough again for him to find what I'm doing. So um, I'm fine with the play here. Uh, Jack Fair will check. Also, I think his only nuts is actually aces, and aces my bet off on the flop. So my thing is a big mistake. So I didn't think about it enough uh, because I think now I should just jump. Uh, because when I jump, he's always folding. And uh, the only nuts that really call me is aces. So if he has aces, that's, that's okay. But I think I have way more liquidity when I jump um, simply because I have it bigger. So I, I really like my play. I like the losing call on the turn, even if he has always an ace, because you can anticipate and, and bluff more the river. But the setting was not good. So the call with King Jack on the river was okay, uh, but honestly not that great. And don't don't think you need to call this because you need to protect your range, blah, blah, that's bullshit. And uh, on this turn, um, uh, the King Six call, uh, this type of call are great because you can blow the river. Um, but if you're in a spot, for example, where you can't blow the river against the polar range, you should always fall. Because like even if it checks output, like, this spot against the pool is two a six eighty, and, and you should fall even if you have a pair. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I think it's it, it's okay. Um, okay, uh, okay. So hope you up the you enjoyed the video uh, for the session. I think we play okay, but I think King Jack should fall on the turn. Uh, didn't think enough about it, um, probably because I'm in video. Uh, because otherwise, I think. It's, Type of fall I can find, but you know, it's just okay uh, to, to lose some time. Um, hope you liked it. Uh, enjoy the I don't know your day <laughs> and uh, and see you in the next video. Bye, guys.